If there was a step-by-step -step formula that you could follow that would guarantee that your new coaching business would take off like a rocket ship, would you follow it? Well, there is, and in this video, I'm gonna teach it to you. Now, the first thing you should understand about coaching is that it really is one of the most rewarding and impactful professions on earth. And before you do anything else, there are really four questions that you need to answer that are gonna help you out in designing the rest of your business. And answering these questions is gonna help you create the clarity and the confidence that you need to make your coaching business a success right from the start. So let's start with who you serve. I want you to ask yourself, who is the person that I can create the biggest impact for? So if you wanna do career coaching, identify the specific type of career coaching you wanna do. Do you wanna help like mid-level employees get promoted? Do you wanna help C-suite executives develop the leadership skills they need so they can be better managers? Or do you wanna help folks who are, for example, just got laid off and now they're in the middle of a job transition and you're helping them with that? What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna try and help everyone. And it can be tempting because, well, number one, you wanna help people. And number two, that you think that you're gonna make more money by casting a wider net. But the opposite always ends up happening. People hire coaches to help them solve specific, urgent problems. They want specialists, not generalists. Now, once you're clear on the type of person that you want to serve, you need to identify the biggest problem that you can help them solve. So when I started my coaching business, I knew the most profitable skill that anyone could acquire was the ability to effectively communicate their value and the value of their product or service to someone else. It's also a skill I had mastered after years of running my first company. So I decided that I would focus all of my attention on business owners who wanted to solve that specific problem. Now, later on, I ended up pivoting my business to work with coaches specifically because I found that those were the clients that I could get the biggest result for, which really brings up a good point. You can always adjust your coaching business or modify it and pivot as you gain experience. But having a clear idea of who you serve and what problem you solve at the beginning makes it so much easier for your clients to say yes to working with you. Next, you need to decide on the process that you're gonna to use to get your clients the result that they want. And when I have clients work through this process, we use something called the escape and arrival framework, and it's really simple. See, every client who comes to you looking for help has a problem that they have not been able to solve on their own. Now, your job is to help them get from where they are today to where they want to be. Now, to do that, there is a process that they need to go through. And what you have to do is show them that process so they understand how the work that you're going to do together is going to get them the result that they want. And taking the time to write out each step not only creates clarity for you, but it also gives your clients the confidence that they need to invest in your program. Now, the last question that you need to answer before you launch your coaching business is, how am I going to attract the kind of clients that I want to work with? And there are two ways that you can do this. Well, really just two, content or connection. So if you're transitioning out of an industry where you have a lot of connections, then getting your first client can really be as easy as just letting people know that you offer coaching. And if you got a good reputation and people really value your knowledge and skill, there's a good chance that you're going to find your first client just by talking about it. On the other hand, if you're moving into something completely different, the best way that you can go about finding your first client is by demonstrating that you know what you're doing by creating content that helps people get a result in advance. And this video is a great example of that. So by helping you work through the steps involved with starting your coaching business, I'm also hopefully demonstrating that I know what I'm talking about. And when you're done answering these four questions, you're going to be one step closer to launching your new coaching business. So you're getting some results in advance. Now, to help you with this process, I've included a free PDF checklist right here that, right, I think, uh, that you can download to help flush out your ideas. And you can also get a link for it in the description. I left one down there as well. Um, but there is a clarity that comes from writing things down. So don't just sit and think about it. Download the PDF and fill it out. Now, once you've got your business plan together, the next step is telling people that you offer coaching. To learn how to do that, go and watch this training where I share a simple one-step framework that you can use to explain the value of your coaching to anyone who shows interest.